One of the most recognizable models in the world, the face of some iconic brands. And now she is the creative director of Japanese skincare company Decorte. But Kate Moss remains an extremely private person. She rarely gives interviews. Days ago, though, I had the opportunity to sit down with her, and we talked about everything from modeling to motherhood. Watch this. So this is your first television interview in a long time, and everything I read about you is she prizes her privacy so much. Why is that? I like to have a life outside of work, and I think it's important for me with my family. And even before that, really, I didn't... I just wanted to keep things to myself. A difficult mission for any public figure, but especially difficult for Kate Moss, who has spent 30 years in the spotlight, going from rising teenage star to supermodel superstardom in the blink of an eye. Can we talk about how you were discovered? I love this story. It was here in New York? Yeah, at JFK. What happened? My dad worked for Pan Am, and we were on our way back from a holiday, and at the time we were traveling on standby. So we'd slept in JFK Airport because we couldn't get home. They said, there's three seats left. Just get on the plane and find the seats. So we got on the plane and my agent was on the plane. And she came up and said, oh, she, have you ever thought about modeling? And I was like, no. And then we went to see her in London and they signed me up. But not everyone was convinced. Can you tell us what your mom's reaction was? Oh yeah, she didn't think I was photogenic. <laughs> she thought you were not photogenic. No. Yeah. But it wasn't long before Kate proved her mother wrong, becoming the face of Calvin Klein and shooting that now iconic obsession campaign when she was just 18 with her then boyfriend and photographer, Mario Sorrenti. That incredible shoot where you went with your boyfriend to Joost Van Dyke? Yeah. Just the two of you down there, no wardrobe, no hair, no makeup? Yeah. And is that what was so special about it? Is that how you were able to penetrate that lens in a way that I don't feel like it's ever been reproduced? No, it was young love, it's a, and we were so innocent and young and so excited about the work, about everything, and everything was so new to us, like going to the Caribbean was like new to us, it was an amazing opportunity and the pictures were amazing. When you look back at those pictures of yourself, what do you think? Oh, I like deep affection, it's just so sweet, I think it's, I'm like, oh, it's lovely. But despite the piercing photos, Kate struggled behind the scenes. In that photo, there are no clothes, and you've been photographed without your top on or, or nude. Was there pressure to do that when you were young? Yeah, there was pressure when I was... I worked with a, a woman photographer called Corinne Day, and she always liked me with no top on, and I did not like it at all when I first started. And then I suppose... Mario was my boyfriend, so I was kind of used to it, but I still didn't, I was still always like, can I just put some clothes on? But, I know, that was what, you know, <laughs> that was the job, and so I kind of just did it. What would you tell younger models now? They don't have to do it, if they don't want to do it. Now it's a lot, I wouldn't let my daughter do it. When I still look at her and now, and she's, she's 15, and to think that I was going topless at her age, it's crazy. How do you like being a mom? Oh, I love it. It's the best thing. It's, it's my favourite thing. How did it change you as a woman? I just never... I was never lonely again. I was, was, was always with... had my baby, so... Are you close? Yeah, really close. There's nothing quite like that love in, in your life. No, it's great. And now we're hanging out, like, as friends. Because she's getting older, we can go shopping together, and <laughs> it's really fun. You, you do want her in the business, or you don't? It's up to her. I'm leaving it up to her. I will support her, obviously, and um, I'll be her manager. <laughs> her momager. She, yeah, I'll be her momager. And um, she can, if she wants to, I will support her in, in anything she wants to do. You think it would have been harder coming up now, coming up in today's day and age, given how ubiquitous social media is and yeah. the models are? I don't know if it had been hard. I, I know it was quite, it was more fun when we, <laughs> when we were doing it, I think. Why? It was just like freer because everything's on social media. Everyone's watching what they're doing. Whereas before it was like we just do things and it would, you know, it's just free, I think. So at age 44, Kate Moss is still modeling, but she's also going behind the lens now with her own talent agency 
And she was just named the creative director of a Japanese skincare company called Decorte. I talked with her about her life now and some of the controversies she's faced along the way. Watch. Body image is something that's in the news. Do you feel like the industry is changing for the better? Definitely. There's so much more diversity now. I think it's just, it's right. There's nobody. There's so many different sizes and colors and heights. Why would you just be one size model and being represented for all of these people? So yeah, for sure it's better. Do you think that the modeling world is still too focused on weight? No, I don't think it's focusing on, on, I don't know if it's focused on weight. I think for the designers, they just want tiny girls. You once got in trouble, you said something like, Oh God, nothing tastes as good as I skinny know. feels. I know, it's my, my friend used to say it because, you know, we were living all together and it's, you know, we'd go for the biscuits and it'd be like, oh, nothing tastes good. But it's a little jingle. Do you, do you feel like people put too much pressure on people to always say the right thing and in just the right way. I mean, yeah. I, have you felt that? Just as much as anyone in the public eye. Kate's been in the public eye for three decades now, and from a tumultuous relationship with Johnny Depp to alleged drug use, she's navigated her share of controversies, a testament perhaps to her attitude about adversity. Somebody told me that your philosophy was Never complain. Yeah, never explain. Never complain, never explain. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Just get on with it. It's like, what can you, you can't do anything about what people think of you or what, what, if they lie or if they, if it's not true what they say or just get, it doesn't matter because if you know who you are, then it's, then you can get through. It's very British of you. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I think so. That's stiff upper lip. How do you keep reinventing yourself because it seems like you continue to take on new challenges. It, you could easily just sit growing back and like, rest on your laurels, but you don't. No, I don't rest. I'm, I like working and I like challenge and I like, um, and I just want to evolve. Okay, so let's talk about your latest adventure. Not only did you launch your own talent agency, but now you're the creative director of Decorte. Yeah. Decorte is a skincare line that I've worked with for three years now. And um, they asked me to be creative director. So, mm -hmm. And I love being on that side of the camera and being creative with the photographer and the stylist and and, and getting an image together that, that um, represents the brand. Now, you look amazing. How are you doing that? Sleep now. I'm a good girl. I go to bed, I drink lots of water, I'm not too much coffee, I'm trying to cut down on cigarettes. <laughs> I'm trying to take, I take care of myself now. You get like eight hours of sleep? How much sleep would you have? Yeah, I would say I try to get eight hours. And so is it, do you have like the one beauty product that people need to know like from a drugstore? If they want to, they want to go into the local drugstore. Oh, like mascara, I'd say. Mascara. Yeah, drugstore, drugstore mascara is really good. So what's the next phase of life look like for you? Um, well, I'm, I'm going to be working in the agency more, I think, and but still modeling. I'm still working, so I'm, and I enjoy it, and I, and uh, yeah, just traveling and doing the same, and taking, watching Lila, what she's going to do. Is there one takeaway? You know, when you're looking at Lila, she's going through a tough time. What do you want her to know that you wish you'd known? Tomorrow's another day. <laughs> Everything passes. It's like you can be a terrible and think it's never good. It's good, the end of the world, but everything passes. Mm -hmm. I think that's important to remember.